Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Mini Moon Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today, we're talking to a time-traveling hippie that I found in my closet. Hello, and welcome to the 21st century. Hey. This is a total gas, man. I never thought I'd be on TV, let alone a TV show on the moon. Well, this is a podcast, and it's on the internet. So there's that. Also, not on the moon. We're in Florida. Whoa. Far out, man. Florida. I never thought I'd be in. How about you introduce yourself to our viewers? Oh, like, sure, brother. You cats can call me Flower Storm. And I want to say a big groovy hello to all you folks in TV land and and my new friend. The internet. Internet. My new friend, internet. No, that's, no, not. So, Flowerstorm, tell me about yourself. Don't mind if I do, Internet. Last thing I remember, I was in a picket line in a park back in 1969. That, that was over 50 years ago. Whoa. It feels just like yesterday. Oh, for you, it was actually today. What happened? Well, this sort of swirly, twisty, blue portal appeared out of nowhere, man. And a group of people came shuffling through. Some had on, like, visors and sunscreen on their noses, man. Sounds like tourists. Sure, dude. They might have been tourists. Did you follow them? No, man. I followed the squirrel. The squirrel? A fuzzy little squirrel scampered right into that big blue hole in reality. The one I was telling you about. And you followed him? For sure, man. Didn't you think that might be dangerous? Whoa. That's heavy, man. So that's a no. No what? So, so you and the squirrel. Sadly, the squirrel and I were not destined to travel the same path. I just saw a flash of light. Felt my teeth turn into laser beams. Then I was standing inside your winter coat with a hanger under my chin. I'm thinking the time travel tourism tunnel wasn't programmed for squirrel in it, Fritz Dow. Leave your theories in the comment section. You, you mean time travel is real? 
Well, it obviously will be. Yeah. How else do you think you got here? Oh, I figure it's about. 50-50, I imagine the whole thing. I'm not imaginary. Are you sure, dude? Because if you were imaginary, you maybe wouldn't even know. And if you did know, you might lie about it. Mm. Whoa, dude. You are real. Thank you, Flower Storm. You're welcome, Internet. So, tell me about the future. It's a lot smaller and darker than my people had hoped. What do you mean? You know, we were kind of like hoping future generations would live in wide open spaces and eat bean sprouts and put an end to wars and all God's children would just be free, you know? Well, some people do eat bean sprouts. I've seen them. Groovy. Groovy. War is still a thing, though. Oh, that's a stone drag, Internet. It is. You can call me Justin, by the way. Oh, oh, sorry, brother. Just Internet. Cool. So, so wide open spaces aren't really around anymore, huh? Uh, no, they're around. Oh, it's just, you know, your, your place being so cramped and dark, and I thought maybe civilization had moved underground to live like in tombs or something. I mean, it looks like we're in a basement, man. This is not a tomb. It's one of many rooms in my house, most of which are bigger and more well lit. Can't beat sunshine for a good time, man. My SPF 50 would disagree with that. Well, if being pale and crowded is your bag, that's all right. At least God's children are free, right, brother? <laughs> that's what they keep telling us anyway. Like, wow. You mean the man is still out there oppressing the beautiful people? <laughs> it's complicated. The man probably isn't exactly who you think he is. Ah, uh, no. I know his type. Bullies and elitists, mega corporations versus the little guy. Actually, you're not wrong. We've got big tech trying to silence us and shut us down. Now, if you dare to say you disagree with the people in power... Speaking out against the man. I'm hip, baby. I'm hip. Please don't call me baby. This is so far out. Those creeps are still trying to run the world. And the universe has sent me here to save the day. Hey, 2021, my name is Flower Storm, and I am here to rescue you. Wait, 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 Flower Storm. Before you get too carried away, folks nowadays... The, the pale and cramped? Just regular people. Nowadays, we aren't like you. What do you mean, brother? We all put our bell bottoms on one leg at a time. Bell bottoms have been replaced by skinny jeans. Whoa. That's a bummer. But if you dig it, 
That could be your Indian name, Just Internet. I christen you Skinny Jeans. Please don't. Did I ever tell you about the time I spent three weeks chained to an oak tree? We literally just met, so no. Some flaky developer was trying to cut it down, and it was home to an albino squirrel. An albino squirrel, skinny jeans. Uh, you really got a thing for squirrels, huh? They're pure souls, skinny jeans. I wish you'd go back to calling me Just Internet. No sweat, brother. So my point is, the powers that be can only silence you if you stop talking. Sure, they make threats, but they're trying to steal your freedom, brother. What could they possibly take away from you that's worth more than that? That's a pretty powerful thought, Flower Storm. It's a good thing I'm here now to help you cats plan the rebellion. I, I think you've got the wrong impression, Flower Storm. You can't chain yourself to a social media post. And besides, I think we all agree we don't want things to get too carried away. Whoa! You're fighting for freedom. Freedom for all the folk in TV land. For your freedom, Just Internet. You can't freak out too much over freedom. Freedom is like, wow, man. You know? You don't understand what the world's like now. My brother, I know if you're not free, if you just let them win, if you just sit down and shut up, then this dark, cramped little room might as well be your tomb. And so I went for like a year and a half without wearing deodorant. Find out who your friends are, man. Again, I don't think that would make a difference with online censorship and media bias. My point is, you, Just Internet, and all you out in TV land, if you want things to get better, you have to get involved to risk your reputation, to take some hits and keep on going. People nowadays really value convenience. Then sit in your tomb, talk to your TV and die, man. You mean room, sit in your room. This movement needs some groovy protest music. I saw a guitar in the closet. Oh, I'll get it. We'll, we'll jam, man. This has been a weird episode, and Flower of Storms is a weird, weird man. But he has a point. Not about the deodorant, but maybe we do have to get involved, and... Mm. Take the hits and keep fighting. Far out. What I'm saying, and what I think Flower Storm is saying, is they can't silence us if we refuse to shut up. What can they threaten to take away from us that's more valuable than our freedom? Freedom for just and a net. Freedom for the square. Smash that like button. Subscribe.
subscribe to help others find this channel. Today's episode is brought to you by Fly By Light Media Entertainment with the Message. Fly By Light Media uploads a video a week, giving you content that's inspirational, funny, thought provoking, and relevant. And we are Fly By Light Media, yeah, man. And we rise to shine. And we rise to shine. Come on now, y'all, sing it with me. We rise to shine. 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 I'm being shut down by the man. The man's telling me I gotta stop. What am I gonna do? Oh! We rise to shine. We rise to shine.